What is up everybody, it's your boy Mims and I'm coming at you guys with a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 commentary and you know I'm not that good at this game but eh, why not, I always like to get better, I always love playing this game no matter what, no matter how many people are complaining about it and sure I'm not as amazing at this game as I am at Black Ops but still I like a challenge, I like getting better and I like taking down noobs with ACRs. Alright, but anyways, I look like a noob right here getting all these hit markers. Come on, Mims, you gotta make that. You gotta at least get a kill off of that, right? But, um, anyways, let me know if you guys really like these because it's really hard to get Call of Duty gameplays for me. Especially Modern Warfare 3. And if you like Black Ops, I could upload a ton of those. Easiest gameplays to acquire ever. Most easiest game for me ever. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, so anyways, what I am talking to you guys about today is number one for my 2K subs. I know it's been a tough week for you guys with the whole Lakers signing Rasheed Wallace and nah, I'm just kidding. But um, with the whole me coming out with UFC after UFC video and just telling you guys you don't have to worry. I am still going to upload UFC. However, I'm shifting my focus more towards 2K at the moment. I'm going to be, I see, as you guys saw my slam dunk contest rant, I started an association with the Charlotte Bobcats and I did it in a very, very unorthodox type of way. And I know this is Call of Duty, I shouldn't be talking about this, but it's going to be a quick second. I traded uh, Tyrus Thomas for Tyrus Thomas and DJ Augustine for Greg Oden and the number uh, and two first round picks, which I think is a great trade for clearing up space and for our future in general and how do I not get a single one of those that was just frustrating but anyways um it should be interesting my first game plays against the Orlando Magic and it should be coming at you guys soon I'm definitely continuing my Hashim Thabit uh create a legend and I am I am in the middle of recording Brandon James versus the Miami Heat part 2 and for some reason my PVR didn't record sound in that game so you will not hear, like, for the second half of the commentary, any gameplay sound. So maybe if anyone is a beat maker out there and wants to make a beat for me, um, I'd be glad to put it in my commentary and definitely give you the credit that you deserve. And, of course, give me, and give you the shout-out. But speaking of shout-outs, i got to give a shout-out to my boy. I pull up to the house. Great player, great commentator. He had he has 41 MOABs under his belt, which is kind of impressive compared to me when I have a staggering zero number of MOABs. But yeah, you should check him out. I pull up to the house uh, with a two instead of a TO, and just spell it in one word. He's a really good player, and he's getting a HD PVR sometime this week. So it should be interesting to watch him grow. Also, check out my boy Drew087. Alright, I'm sorry, Drew. I can't, I don't know how to say it. But he's also on the rise. Great Call of Duty commentator. And if you guys just like Call of Duty in general, you already know there's a huge community for that. But those are uh, two of my go to Call of Duty guys. And finally, how could I forget my boy On Virus is a beast. He's so underrated definitely deserves to look at uh, look at his commentaries the guy plays on a terrible connection and he is just amazing gets MOABs makes me and Coop look like we're, uh, we belong in like a D league or something and it looks like a LeBron James whenever he plays all right I shouldn't be keep going I shouldn't keep talking he has a huge ego on him too but he's hilarious check him out also I'm virus he's in my subscriber box on my YouTube channel but um, anyways, back to the commentary. You guys know how uh, frustrated I was about the dunk contest. But today, let me give you one of those life's experiences commentaries. You know, one of those uh, mims goes to uh, goes out, does something, and something dumb happens to him, and he just rants about it in his commentaries. And you guys are forced to sit here and listen. Or actually, I could just give you mims tips instead. Alright, so first of all, I know a lot of you guys who watch my commentaries are still like in high schoolish, you know, and you guys, again, I want to start a comment, uh, a whole Q&A session every Monday, uh, like, you just send me a message, tell me what your issue is, tell me anything you would want me to answer about myself, about you, help you out on anything, 
I'll read through it through my personal messages and whichever ones I like the most I'll probably answer in a question and answer session so first of all uh, because I just love giving uh, I just love giving advice to people you know I love being helpful and stuff but um so I'm uh, so let me give you a little piece of advice last night you know I'm hanging out at a party and everything and these two girls just get into a fight over the dumbest thing ever dumbest thing ever number one I'm in college I decide uh, my friend has a girlfriend who's a senior in high school in my old high school so I'm like yeah you know why not I haven't seen a bunch of these seniors in a while and looks like it's a kind of a dead night you know all my boys are catching up on homework and midterms and all that BS and I am bored so I decided to go with my friend and his girlfriend to this party so at the party the dumbest thing possibly happens so the party ends you know a little girl uh, a, a girl decides to go get silly string spray it on everyone say all right you guys it's time to go <laughs> it was oh my god this is so much fun and you know spray it on everyone and I'm like sitting there I have like my fly looking leather jacket mim swagger going on you know and this girl sprays silly string on everyone so this one girl goes to her and says yeah could you do you mind not spraying that on me please I really I just bought this and then the other girl's like what you say to me and then shoves one girl and I'm thinking to myself are you kidding me and these two girls uh, and then the first girl who said please don't do anything I said yeah just please don't spray anything on me she's like uh, the other girl who sprayed the silly string decides to go up and the most logical thing possible in this situation is to slap the first girl and slap the girl and eventually the girl that sprayed the silly strings like oh my god you don't do this to me you don't do that you don't do this you don't do that and I'm sitting here thinking like wow why did I decide to come here tonight <laughs> I'm like oh my god females these days and these girls are like what a year younger than me you know like wow and then I'm like this is why people should stop watching television you know <laughs> like who, who actually does that F uh, fighting over silly string I think that was the dumbest argument I've ever seen so if you're if you happen to be a guy if you, uh, so I did the most logical solution I could possibly come up with that's go up to the girl that was cuter and said, yeah, you shouldn't have, uh, yeah, that girl's a, that girl's terrible, you know, yeah, you totally owned her, got the girl's number, and left. So, <laughs> so, I don't even know why I told you that story, I just figured you guys enjoy Mims' very comical adventures. And then after I go to a frat party, and in this frat party, this guy decides to, oh, dead man's hand! Oh, sorry, this guy decides to go and started hitting his hand with a shoe like legit his hand hit taking a shoe he took a shoe off and his number one dance move was hitting his hand with his shoe and um i'm part i'm not sure if i should upload it because i have a great video i don't feel like publicly humiliating someone but i decided if this video gets a 200 or 300 likes because it's so far fetched for it to happen i will upload it anyway send in questions to me thumbs this video if you liked it it's your boy mims and i'm out